Welcome back, I'm Calvin, AKA Statue Fanatic. And today was supposed to be a video where I highlight an incredible piece of art from an artist by the name of Victor Garduno. But I'm actually filming this the day after, or the morning after we find out that the amazing Chadwick Boseman has passed away. I tell you what guys, that one, that one hit me hard. I'm definitely gonna talk about the art, but I have to say something about how I'm feeling about this incredible loss to so many people. I'm here in South Carolina, his uh, native home, and uh, the people of South Carolina are showing so much love to this guy, and he was such an amazing actor. And I am so grateful that he got to play the role of T'Challa in Black Panther because Black Panther was released in 1966 in issue 52 of Fantastic Four. And that was two years before I was born. So he plays this character nearly 50 years later. I grew up looking at some of my other heroes on screen like Superman and Spider-Man and Batman, but always knowing as a comic fan that there was this character that I connected so much with that had never actually been shown. And when it was announced by Marvel that they would be releasing a Black Panther movie after the Civil War, after his appearances in Civil War, I was ecstatic. I can remember the anticipation that I felt going to the theaters to see this movie on its opening night. And as the credits rolled and we saw the, the Marvel logos flash through, I was like, we're actually gonna see this. And from the very opening scene when he, they're in Oakland and, and they're playing ball, I just knew it was going to be a special movie, just the way they opened the movie. And it was. It was one of the most exciting movies that I had seen and one that I was so proud to sit in a theater and see because I saw on screen so many people portraying people who look like me in such an amazing way. I was just ecstatic about it. And not to mention, the movie was just incredibly good. And so I talked to my daughter about this movie and she is not into comic books at all. She's never seen a Star Wars movie and has never read a comic book, never seen a, a Spider-Man movie. She's just not into this stuff. She's 30 years old, by the way. So I told her about this movie and I tried to explain it to her and she was like, ah, it doesn't sound like something I wanna see. But she went to see it. And on her way home, she couldn't wait to get home before calling me to tell me, just like so excited to share with me the emotions and the feelings that she had watching this movie. And like I said, I am so grateful that Chadwick lived, Chadwick lived long enough to bring this iconic character to, to the screen in a way that I could not even have imagined it turning out. And I am so grateful for that. But this young actor not only brought my comic book heroes to life, he also played two of my real life heroes, Jackie Robinson in 42 and Thurgood Marshall, the Honorable Thurgood Marshall in Marshall, doing an amazing job. And Chadwick was also a social um, conscious activist. He, he, he was there, I mean, he was present. And the worth ethic to work through and produce the content that he produced um, and delivered to the world and for us to share and have with us forever. And he did this in the midst of being sick. It is like unbelievable <laughs> that he did this. And I say thank you, Chadwick, for powering through that and bringing us these amazing characters that we can fall in love with over and over again. And the last thing I wanna say before I talk about the print is Chadwick, may your memory be a blessing to all that knew you. Now, as far as this piece is concerned, Victor Garduno is an artist out of Las Vegas. This is the second piece that I've purchased from him. The very first piece was a piece of Thanos with the uh, gauntlet. I bought that to go with Thanos on Throne from Sideshow when I uh, got that piece. Loved it. The artwork is absolutely amazing. I'm going to leave all the links down below in the description so that you guys can go check out his website and his art. So a little bit about his art and his philosophy in art. 
According to his website, one of the things that he wants to do is upset the digital oversaturated art market with something that people can really treasure, something that people feel that is special because it's not mass produced and is not digitally produced. It's produced by a person, by him, by his own hands. And this particular artist has been commissioned to do art for some of the greats, I think like Lucasfilm and, and uh, Disney. So this guy definitely has a resume out there. So please check him out, like I said. But what he wanted to do was create something that a lot of people could enjoy, enjoy at a reasonable price, but yet it not be oversaturated so that it still feels special. And yet he mentioned something which I totally agree with. It would be great if this was the only one ever made and I was the only person to ever have it. But that's a lonely place to be as a collector too because you don't have anybody to share that like passion with. So striking that balance to be able to offer art, high quality art, limited art to everyday people that they can enjoy and feel a part of a community like this is really, really awesome. And so this particular piece is a 20 by 30 canvas piece and this is an artist proof and there are 38 of this. This is number seven of 38. It's actually serialized by Victor and then on the other side here, it has his signature on it. Um, when I got it, it was shipped extremely secure and I was so excited to unbox it. And when I unboxed it, blown away. I absolutely love this piece of art. You have Black Panther here. He has the gold uh, armor on in this particular picture, but you have Black Panther either coming through or breaking through and opening in what looks like the side of a mountain or rocks which would be out in the middle of nowhere, I guess, in the middle of uh, the wilderness. But yet that opening frames the incredible technologically advanced city of Wakanda. And I think this is just such an amazing representation of this character. And the colors, I absolutely love the colors on this, uh, this print. My favorite color is purple. And just seeing these purple highlights and the way that it shimmers off of his changes his black outfit into this purplish tone. Uh, I just absolutely love this piece. And I'm really happy to share it with you guys another example of what I say when I say collect what you like and not the hype. Having this in my collection and being able to display it is absolutely amazing. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this really amazing piece of artwork from Victor Garduno. Please check out his site below in the link and let me know what you guys think. If you've ever bought something from him, what do you have from him and what do you think of it? And remember to always collect what you like and not the hype. Until next time, my friends, peace.